My wife joined me to try and learn Identity 5. She's a complete gaming beginner. And this is how it went. Let's get straight into some matches. My wife has had a little bit of practice in uh, the custom matches where because she, she's not actually a, a gamer. So she has no idea even how to use the normal uh, WSAD keyboard style play style. Um, we're on a new account, so uh, that should be fine. We're going to be playing Doctor because that's one of the first survivors we get. And I also think it's one of the ones that kind of uh, teaches you how to assist your teammates at the same time as also kind of having some abilities to protect yourself by healing yourself. Maybe I will panic a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to be awkward as well. But... Uh, oh, we've got a prisoner. Okay, we've got a decoder. Okay, so that's good. So we only have one <laughs> persona web point that I've invested in it. It means that when we are chaired, all the survivors can see each other. Oh, so we're in arms factory. Okay, so don't just drop pallets. If you drop pallets, it notifies the hunter. Yeah, so let's go and find a cipher machine. You'll see it highlighted in yellow. There you go. There's one. We didn't practice the coding. Okay, ready? Yeah, cool. Yay, nice one. It will continue to do that randomly. It's stressful a little bit. Prisoner just got hit. <laughs> okay, so um, you're gonna have to re. That means the hunter has been notified that you're here. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. But that might be fine because uh, probably our teammate is also gonna ruin it. Oh, um, is anyone gonna rescue prisoner? I think it's our job to go and rescue prisoner. Can we go and rescue prisoner, please? He, he's probably that. There he is over there on the left hand side. You see yeah. the glowing red on the oh, left yeah. hand side. Where, where, where the hunter is. Yeah. yeah. So Gardner just tried to rescue. Oh, Gardner just rescued. Okay. So uh, but prisoner just got back down again, so. Do I go to him? Um, you. I know because right now he's gonna get picked up. I'm not sure if he was rescued before. Okay. Half. Okay. Will so he... this Helamba knows what he's doing because he's set up a little trap will for he you. Will he hit me or something? He will definitely try and hit you, but uh, don't. Uh, okay. Go go go! And now press Q. Okay. Go go go. And just run away in any direction you want. Uh, if you jump a window, that will also not notify space. the hunter. So the hunter knows where you are now. Okay. I'm you sorry. can you can do that silently. So if you want to go over the window quietly, press control. And now press space. And it will slowly and then could control again to get you out of crouching. The hunter is near me, yes? Yep, you're gonna have to leave because he's probably gonna come right behind you. How did he not see you? Oh, he's probably about to hit you. Bonk. This is the struggle. Keep, you can go faster than that. <laughs> Gardner broke the chair, so you can't put you on. Struggle! That. So, yeah. You might, Fight for your life! You might get out. You might get out. Boop! You got it! Okay, vault that window. Vault that window. Just press space bar, space bar. And run towards that pallet. We need to look behind. Uh, drop it. Nice. Oh, we got hit on the drop. That's why it's really important in this game to learn how to look behind you when you're running. That's Sorry, it. That. That's actually something that not a lot of players can do. If you see on here, there's that orange line. If you get if you get rescued before that, then you actually can get another chair. Okay. But if they rescue after that, that means you're dead on the next time they put people to on a chair. Mm -hmm. Okay. She decided to use the bubble. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Yep. Okay. She used the bubble way too early. So now you're rescued after half. So technically, if you get put on the chair again, you're dead. Carrying her hand. Okay, run away from the hunter. You're running towards the hunter. Oh, you've got a hunter after you. Bonk. No. I don't want you. Go away from Why are we running into the corner of the map? <laughs> okay, going into a dead end is probably a bad idea. Yes. Um, but there's a pallet. That's good. Um, we need to find out where he's gone. And you need to look around while you heal so you know which way he's coming from. Something also that you want to make sure, especially if you're playing with teammates, is you want to be, uh, you want to pay attention to which ones and memorize which ones you've already started and which ones your team has already started. When you're decoding, you want to be looking around. This is something that's very important because you need to see, you can see the hunter coming from far away. So you need to look. I don't like I don't like this space bar. <laughs> People are. You're the only one who's going to be able to rescue because the other person's at half health. If you're at full health and the rest of the team is at half health, you're the one rescuing by default, even if there's a rescuer on your team. Oh, she struggled free. Mm -hmm. Do you see that puppet? Can we go and annoy the puppet, please? 
One strategy for Helember to beat Helember is um, his puppets let him teleport around the map to each of the puppets and then he can also give the puppets control. So you can destroy the puppets by going up to them and um, pressing the correct button. Sorry. I'm so it. stressed because I need to listen to you. <laughs> Bonk. No, no. And jump the pallet, yeah. And heal up on the other side and look behind you so you're healing. Oh. No! No, go back. What are you doing? Terror shock. You pressed the button again, so you went back over it. I think you're gonna. it's going to be a tie because I don't so think So somebody opened rescue. the door, yes? I see. Yeah, you're dead on chair, so... Well, they haven't opened the gate yet. They're opening it, yes? You might struggle. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And you're free. Okay, run straight towards the orange thing and go towards any pallets on your way there. Oh, we're lagging. Um, we're like heavily lagging here. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we just jumped up to 320 ping. Do I struggle? Yeah, keep on struggling. Always struggle. Even, so even if, um, usually struggling is a lie but, because it never really happens, <laughs> but... Uh, Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. No, you're a 99. <laughs> and okay. you're dead. But as long as the rest of the team get out the gate, this is a tie. Okay, so putting Tito Kota out and Gardner is at dungeon. Ooh. Nice high five for the first one. Wow, well, this is was so this was so stressful. <laughs> you kept on running towards the corners and also not looking I'm not, around. I'm I'm very you. awkward. I'm very bad at geography. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. So I like I probably need to know the map very well, mm -hmm. uh, how um, everything is situated. Mm -hmm. I'm very uh, awkward with the uh, mm -hmm. buttons as well. If you want to learn how to kite, as soon as you see the hunter coming towards you, even if you don't have heartbeat, it's good for you to leave that cypher machine and head towards a the next pallet. Ah, pallet. Um, pallets are your safe place, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, we're playing with two of the same people. Can oh. I help you? Um, it's usually better just to touch it and then move on and actually move to a different place. You usually don't want it to code together um, because it's it slows down the overall progress, yes? Um, as a beginner tip, you want to be paying attention to the bell sounds. If you hear those bells sometimes, that means he's unlocked a new ability. Oh, oh careful, man. careful. Don't go towards the umbrella. <laughs> go the other way from the umbrella. <laughs> the umbrella is a bad thing. Uh, he's not here because he had no heartbeat, so he got it back again. Okay, so Gardner's dead. Okay. She died on the first chair. <laughs> I would rescue. Ah. Mm -hmm. Like go. Yeah. <laughs> He's after you now. Oh. Keep on running. To your left. Okay, to your left there's a window. It's a very strong place. To your left, left, left. Okay. Go over it. And heal. Oh, he hit you over the window. Hey. Struggle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this player knows a little bit more what they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so he probably won't take forever to find a chair. <laughs> oh, look, dungeon's there. You want to pay attention to where dungeon is. Dungeon is that little hatch to your right, that thing. That will spawn only one place in the map, and that can be opened if you're the last survivor alive. Mm -hmm. It's like an extra exit gate. Mm -hmm. Yes? And we're dead. Nobody... <laughs> One thing about beginners is beginners don't know that they're supposed to rescue. <laughs> so two people just died because they never rescued. So we saw two people running towards the chair. Yeah, so you're supposed to do so. Yeah, yeah but Some even points. usually rescuing just gives you more time. Um, my question probably when you're trying to save a person, when it's appropriate to do or, or when it's better not to do it, yeah? In general, you always want to rescue someone uh, if possible because it gives your team more time. It takes the hunter time to pick up the chair, even if, again, yes? Mm -hmm. And it also means that your teammates have more chance of living because if you just leave them on the chair, then they're dead. If someone gets knocked down very early in the match, you sometimes don't want to rescue that first person because it will give your team more time to, to code. Those are hunters that are very, very good at stopping rescues. Usually you always want to rescue and you want to tell, you want to pay attention to who is rescuing. If you can't see them running because nobody has taken that trait, then you want to pay attention to quick messages at the top right. Someone will say, I am going. To jump over the window or a pallet, yes? You mm -hmm. need to Evolve press mm -hmm. Control. Space. No. If you press space so the hunter can see you, yes? I understand. Yeah. So this is something that beginners, um, as I've said in multiple videos before, so when you are running in general, 
um, it leaves, even though you can't see it, behind you, a hunter can see red marks on the ground. This yeah. is a way for them to track you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is only when you're running. If you are tiptoeing or crouching, it doesn't leave those marks. Okay. If you want to go over a window and you want to do it quietly, so without notifying the hunter, then you can either crouch or you can tiptoe and it will slow, it will do a jump over a window, but it will do it slower. Okay. If you do it when you are running, it won't kind of show you where, it won't show the hunter where you are, but it will make a big, bright, uh, loud noise and a little kind of explosion on the map for the hunter in which direction and which window you vaulted. Good. You want to stop? Yeah, I guess so. It's okay, no? <laughs> Me and my wife have done different Identity 5 videos before. If you want to see them, then click here to see Kira's first time ever playing Identity 5.